How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about the unlocks and the items that almost every PVMer is going to want to work towards. Now, this is going to be kind of like the basics and not necessarily absolutely everything that you are going to want to get as of course there is going to be way too many things for me to include that in just one video. So, if you have everything on here and you tick everything off, it will provide you with a pretty decent foundation to the things that you would want to have for PVM. That being said, there of course will still be things that you would like to get and unlock and work towards that aren't mentioned in this video. That being said, this will be the majority of the things that you would want to get to be able to get started and there's going to be some extra stuff thrown in there too. So hopefully this is interesting to a lot of you guys, hopefully you find it useful and hopefully it does help quite a few people out. Anyway, if you enjoy, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new and let's go. So we're going to start off by separating this up into three different sections and we're going to start off with quests and skills we're going to tie them in together because it's kind of like the foundation of your account itself and then we're going to move on to items and then we'll move on to like extra things that are worth unlocking that maybe aren't necessarily anything early on or anything that you kind of everybody will want to have but things that are worth mentioning and things that are worth grabbing as well so we will start off with the quests and the skills that you will definitely want to have as the benefits that they do provide are just way too good to ignore these are not going to be in any specific order, you'll just have to take them off as you go along. But we are starting off with Ancient Magic Spellbook, which comes from the Desert Treasure questline. Now, also you can work towards the City at Sentistan as well to unlock extra Ancient Magic spells. But having the Ancient Magic is pretty important as it does give you quite a lot of different spells that you can use. And if you are using Magic as one of your main combat styles, you will definitely be wanting the Ancient Magic Spellbook. That being said, it also provides some other useful things as well, especially once you have completed the City at Sentistan and giving you access to smoke cloud giving you access to animate dead and giving you access to the tier 99 magic spells which you are definitely going to want to be using once you have them unlocked not to mention the ancient magic's quest line desert treasure is a requirement to actually complete the ancient curses quest line the temple at sentistan and this is going to be the next quest line that you are going to want to complete to unlock the ancient curses Ancient Curses is a upgrade to your prayer book as it does give you completely different prayers which you'll be using all the way into the end game as you will not have any reason to switch back to the normal prayer book unless you were maybe doing something very specific in game. Ancient Curses does provide you with deflect curses meaning that you can actually return some damage that you take rather than just protecting you from that damage as well. Also, it does give you Soul Split, which will heal back a certain amount of damage that you deal to a target, meaning you can actually do a lot of bosses without any food this way. It reduces the amount of food you use in a lot of situations, whether you are prayer flicking from this to a protection curse, or whether you are just camping this and it can be incredibly useful on your journey of doing PVM. Not to mention that you do get the best damage boosting curses in this prayer book as well. At level 95, you will unlock Turmoil Curses, which is Turmoil, Anguish, and Torment. These are level 95 curses that will increase your damage by a hell of a lot. They are incredibly useful and they are absolutely a great goal for every PVMer to work towards as you will be using them everywhere you go until you unlock the next tier of tier 99 curses. The tier 99 curses are called Malevolence, Desolation and Affliction and you unlock these by reading one of the codexes dropped by next Angel of Death. These are incredibly expensive however they do offer you the best damage boosting curse that you can possibly get in the game as of this video being made. These are absolutely worth the price that they come as and eventually you will be wanting to pick these up. So unlocking the ancient curses through the temple at Sentistan is going to be something that is valuable and worthwhile doing even though there is a hell of a lot of quest requirements beforehand and a lot of time will be invested into unlocking this you will be using these everywhere you go whether it is slayer whether it is even skilling at some point if you unlock some more curses through other quests you'll be using them on this uh, curse book as well and you'll be using them at all the bosses in the future as well so it is definitely worth unlocking this quest line of course working towards these quests are going to provide your character with a pretty decent amount of skills as there are going to be skill requirements to actually complete a lot of these quests that being said, there are going to be some specific skills that you will want to be leveling up on your account to unlock certain things that are going to help you out a hell of a lot as a PVMer. For example, you are going to want at least 96 Herb Lore, working your way all the way up to at least 106 Herb Lore eventually, so you can unlock the different Overload variants. In 96, you get the Standard Overload, which is incredibly useful and definitely worth working towards to begin with. And then eventually, the Elder Overload will provide you with more stats boosts, and it is definitely something that you're going to want to work towards 
rewards as well eventually as you work through to harder bosses. The overload will basically boost your stats and keep your stats boosted for you, refreshing them every now and then. This allows you to use Saradum and Bruise as food, meaning you can get a hell of a lot more healing out of inventory space, and you can also combo eat food, meaning you can eat food and drink a Saradum and Brew dose at the same time, meaning you can get a big boost of healing all in one tick. As well as this, of course, overloads giving you the bonus stats, increase your accuracy, increase your strength, increase your defense, and they're just overall a incredibly useful potion to have access to. I should also mention as well that getting 106 Herbalove for the Elder Overload is also going to unlock a hell of a lot of other potions you can make at this point, including Adrenaline Potions, which I'll be mentioning a little bit later on as well. Alongside Herbalove, you are also going to want to be getting yourself 96 Summoning for the Ripper Demon. The Ripper Demon is incredibly useful and it will help out so freaking much in PVM, but not to mention you will also unlock a Yak at the exact same time. The Ripper Demon is a DPS familiar, which will be able to help you get through bosses quicker by dealing a hell of a lot of damage meaning it helps you out on getting the boss killed a pack yak is going to be able to carry a lot of food for you i believe it can carry 30 inventory spaces meaning you can take 30 more pieces of food with you to a boss encounter this is going to be incredibly useful for learners as if you need extra food while you're learning a boss and dealing with mechanics you can chuck all that food in the yak and then you can kind of eat your way through mechanics while you figure out how they work this can be quite costly at some times, but it is definitely something that is going to help you out a lot on learning mechanics and dealing with bosses and not feeling like you're being punished as much as if you didn't have access to one. 96 summoning, 96 to 106 herb law, and 95 prayer are going to be expensive to achieve. They're going to take a lot of time to work towards and they are going to feel like you are putting a lot of effort and money into unlocking these levels. But they are absolutely worth doing and they are absolutely skills that you are going to want to unlock if you are planning to be a PVMer in the end game of RuneScape 3. They are a very important part of it and I would recommend that anybody who does want to work towards PVM unlocks all of these and eventually even higher levels of these at some point the last few levels that you're going to want to have on your account or available to yourself before you get into pvm or while you are getting into pvm even is going to be invention unlocked Having Invention Unlocked means you have to have 80 in Crafting, Smithing, and Divination as these are required to even access the skill for Invention. Invention will provide you with perks for your gear and it will increase a lot of different things in terms of damage and accuracy and even defense bonuses that you will absolutely want to have as they benefit you way too much to ignore. Invention is incredibly useful even at a budget side so if getting access to this is going to be way too important and you definitely want to do this. Even if you just get yourself some budget perks you will notice a massive difference in terms of PVM on survivability and accuracy and things like that and the amount of damage you can output just by accessing some of the budget level perks. You don't have to get best in slot straight away. In fact I would recommend getting the budget ones and the easier to access ones for a while first and then once you have reached a way higher level in invention and you have reached yourself a way better bank value and more you have access to more money making stuff then you work on these best in slot perks as they are incredibly expensive but to do this you will need that level 80 in crafting smithing and divination and then you'll probably want to level invention up a quite a bit first before you actually start getting even the budget perks so it will be a lot of work it will be a decent amount of time to invest into this but it will be 100% worth it and I do recommend eventually working your way to 120 invention now this may sound like it could take a a hell of a long time and it may be like what i have to get a skill to level 120 not even just 99 trust me it doesn't take as long as other skills do because invention is done pretty passively especially at high levels but it is incredibly quick as well you can level this pretty damn fast and once you've got your budget perks at a little bit of a lower level you can sort of just leave it in the background siphon off the xp when you get to certain levels of your gear every now and again when you're doing things like pvm or slayer tasks or things like that and you kind of progress this skill at that point without even thinking about it the final skills i would recommend you do want to have eventually is going to be 90 in the combat style that you want to use and probably in defense as well the reason being is level 90 is a pretty damn good goal as it does allow you to wear level 90 gear surprise surprise this is going to provide you with decent accuracy in most bosses and you can probably get through most bosses in the game with level 90 equipment in terms of weaponry so having access to be able to wear those level 90 weapons is definitely going to be a good milestone to work towards 
Okay, so that covers pretty much the skills and the quests that I would recommend that you do have. Uh, all the things that you're going to want to work towards, right? These are all going to be things that are going to help you out a hell of a lot. You're not going to get them straight away, but getting those things are all going to be a very important baseline for you getting into PVM. So this next section is going to be going over some items that are going to be incredibly useful. Now, some of the items in here may seem a little bit random. They're just items that I know are really good and really important to get eventually. You may get them way later down the line. You may get them nice and early so they don't like think that i'm throwing these in here like you have to get these early or anything these are just super useful items that you will probably want to pick up on your path through pvm so the first two things i'm going to talk about are potions as well it is the elder of low potion that we've already spoken about and it is the adrenaline potions as well adrenaline potions are going to be incredibly useful you already know about elder overloads you know they give the bonus stats and stuff but you're going to want to make quite a few of these up when you do your herb law on i assume double xp is what most people will do make plenty of elder overload potions when you do that or make Make plenty of overloads whatever overload you go for make them on double xp you may as well you're going to use them you are going to need them that being said it is also useful to make some adrenaline potions as well you are going to want to use adrenaline potions when you pvm using adrenaline potions increases your dps a lot and it helps out so freaking much it's crazy how much difference just drinking one dose of adrenaline potion will make during a fight than if you don't have one whatsoever i've included these because they're not buyables uh obviously the rest of the stuff like supplies and whatnot i'm not going to talk about how oh, you should get some sharks and some brews or whatever you're going to buy all your supplies and whatnot at the grand exchange more than likely but these are all tradables you will have to make these and i figured it was worth mentioning that when you are leveling your herb law to maybe make some along that path so that you do have some stocked up ready for when you get into pvm next up a good goal to work towards is going to be tier 90 weaponry now you are going to work towards these you will have to start off a little bit lower down and build your way up and it does take a bit of time because these are quite expensive but tier 90 weaponry will last you pretty much for the rest of the game until you get to the point where you're just making loads of money uh, tier 90s are good you honestly want to work towards these and they're incredibly useful so you can start off with tier 80s tier 85s tier 70s even it depends wherever you are gold wise when you start getting into pvm and whereabouts in pvm you are starting you may start off at god wars 1 in which case you do not need tier 90s to do god wars 1 at all not in the slightest so you obviously can start off a lot lower level than this but making tier 90 weapons one of your main focus points it, unlocking those and getting those having access to them it will make a big difference when you are fighting bosses and honestly they help out a hell of a lot they are definitely a good goal to set for yourself this next one is one that i would recommend every everybody does get okay this is the one thing that i would say you have to have this <laughs> it's going to be a shield or a defender a rebounder a reflector whatever they're all called a shield of some kind is really important you have to have a shield and the higher the tier the better because a lot of your defense abilities scale with the tier of your uh, your shield as well so it is important to get a higher tier shield if you possibly can you can just buy the tier 90 ones off the grand exchange or you can get one of the defenders and un unlock that and upgrade that uh, but these are all really important using defense abilities are going to be really like freaking useful in bosses and learning stuff and it is a huge important part of actually pvming understanding your defense abilities is probably one of the most important important things you can do in a lot of boss fights towards the end game so picking up a shield early on and getting used to using those defensives even in situations where you may not necessarily need to they will help you out they'll make your life easier and it will pay off in the long run to have an understanding of how those defense abilities work get a nice key bind for your shield get used to doing a few switches for resonance and that sort of stuff and you will be glad that you did i'm not going to really talk about armor and stuff because armor is just going to be stuff that follows along with your weapons uh, but you don't need to upgrade this first you always want to upgrade weapons first armor you can kind of sit around tier 70 for a while and then tier 80 or whatever you don't have to rush this too far you can just sort of pick it up as you go along eventually you're going to want tier 90 or tier 92 gear uh, but it's something that comes a little bit further later and it's not the end of the world if you don't have higher tier armor straight away so i just want to mention that bit but otherwise you can just work on your armor when and if you you want to that's not me saying that armor is not important at all you are probably going to want about tier 70 plus but once you get to that point the, the difference that armor will make in comparison to some other things is not as much so you've got your weapons in mind you've got your shield already you've got your adrenaline potions and your overloads are made up through double xp or whenever you do your herb law and you are working on your like armor and stuff in the background what are some just extra useful items that you can unlock 
or can work towards just because it's the sort of thing you may want to work towards in the future well some key items some useful items that you may want to get are definitely going to be the enhanced excalibur this will heal you up quite a lot and it is incredibly useful i still use it every single time i go pvming now to unlock this you will need to do the quest that gives you the excalibur and then you want to complete the elite seers village diaries and also everything before that as well because having those done increases the amount of healing you do get from your excalibur but well, this can be incredibly useful you can use it for your bladed dive switch or you can just use it as a bit of extra passive healing where you don't need to be using food and stuff honestly definitely worth picking up another thing you may want to pick up especially while learning pvm is going to be a ring of death this will save you on death costs a hell of a lot once your death costs do start picking up and you just want to charge it with an onyx and honestly this is definitely worth grabbing onto it is a decent stat ring in fact it's one of the higher better stats ring apart from the brand new ones and it is also going to give you that whole fact that if you do die wearing this ring you will just teleport to somewhere else instead or you come back to life somewhere else you'll lose a little bit of charge on the ring and of course you won't have to pay for the multi-million gold death that would have happened had you gone to death's office instead so the ring of death for learners definitely worth grabbing onto another really good item to work towards is an essence of finality this is going to be later on this is an expensive item and this is something that is going to help you in sort of like later game pvm situations that being said it is an incredibly good item and you will make a hell of a lot of use from this later on down the line so keeping this in mind there's something to work towards you can then place yourself when you think you are ready to get this and honestly it is a definitely an item that you want to keep your eyes on as it is going to add a hell of a lot of value to your pvm stuff in the future for those of you that don't know in essence of finality will let you add a special attack weapon of the combat style you're using to that essence of finality and you can then use that special attack with any weapons whatsoever as long as the combat styles do match it makes getting a lot of damage out from like older weapons the spec weapons and stuff freaking absolutely amazing cinderbane gloves are another item that is incredibly useful to get as they are best in slot gloves for all combat styles as long as the poison does work on the target you are fighting but whether it's slayer or whether it's like most of the bosses to be fair you can usually poison the bosses in those situations where cinderbane gloves do work they will be best in slot for all three combat styles meaning you get one pair of gloves and you can use them across all three styles so you kind of cover yourself pretty good and they have decent stats so even if that is the only pair of gloves you do have they're still going to be pretty good they're still going to give you some stats they may not give you the poison but at least you have something there that you're using instead of just having nothing whatsoever next up don't forget about your pocket slot as well i see a lot of people getting into pvm that aren't using the pocket slot they may bring a like a god book with them but they don't charge it and they don't use it using god books using scrimshaws or any of the new books from god wars 3 is so freaking good it is incredibly good it can be quite expensive depending which one you want to go for the book of when i believe is still pretty expensive but it is absolutely worth the price that you pay for it and you do get a lot of damage out of this so i would suggest picking up a god book of the one that you want to use whether it's the jazz one whether it's the when one whether you want to use one of the old ones as long as you have something in that pocket slot that is providing you extra damage with you doing very little to actually get that damage out of it you want to be making sure you make use of this as they are really good for those of you very early on in pvm a book of jazz is incredibly cheap to keep running it is like ridiculously cheap for the pages and i'm pretty sure the book itself isn't that expensive either so maybe the book of jazz would be a pretty decent option for a lot of you guys getting started now i could list every item in the entire game here and just keep talking about why they're all really good so well, those are the sort of main items that i think a lot of people would want to work towards uh, before while they get into pvm so the last thing that i'm going to say is while it is a very long goal to go for a max cape is pretty damn useful because you can add perks from your other skill capes your 99 skill capes into the max cape providing that any cape that that you wear in the future after this it will give you the three perks that you can get all at once so for example you can add a range cape to this which will allow you to get a 20 percent i believe increase in the actual proc chance of the bolts that you're using and also you can add the invention cape which reduces the drain rate of your uh, divine charge and then also you can add something else like i don't know the defense cape that's the one that i use as well that if you die you automatically get the sign of life once every hour and you don't have to bring a sign with you these are all incredible useful things while you're pvming so maybe set maxing as a long-term goal like a very long-term goal i'm not saying you to pvm you have to be maxed you don't you can do it without but it is incredibly useful that brings us to the end of like the basic items that you may want to work towards there's so many different things that you could add to this i could go on for ages but i think 10 minutes on this section is absolutely enough this video is going to be really long but i could list these all day long but we're going to stick to these ones these are the ones that are set out and sort of picked out of the lot and thought you know what most people do end up getting this and they are incredibly useful so you can set them as like like medium term goals long term goals whatever but these are things that you can work towards and tick them off and they're going to be good like 
dust across the board. So let's move on to the last section, which is just going to be like just a little bit of extras that are worth unlocking, worth setting your sights on and can be useful, but you don't necessarily need them. Let's talk about that. Okay, final section. For you guys that got this far, let me know in the comments. Did you get like this far throughout the whole video? Or if you skip forward and you hear me say this now, well, leave a comment down below because for you guys that have got this far, you guys are absolutely crazy. Thank you very much. I do hope it's helping out. But let's talk about this now. We're going to talk about the extras that are worth unlocking that you may want to like work towards, but they're not necessarily something you have to work on straight away. These long-term stuff, these are things that you can get as little benefits while you're PVMing, things that will help. We're going to go through this pretty quick because there's not really much point in like describing every single thing about them and they're pretty self-explanatory you can get dominion mines from the dominion tower these are going to be explosives that you can put on the ground in certain locations and bosses and stuff and they will do up to twenty thousand damage because you can use two and they do 10k damage each and you don't really need to do anything other than that just place them down they're incredibly useful you use these at solak at aod at the ambassador you can use it at ed2 they're just really useful and they're definitely something that you may want to look into getting if you are looking at doing aod and solak as they are kind of requested there they're not a requirement they're really not but they are kind of requested there next up is dread nips dread nips are really useful as well as they will allow you to summon like a scorpion that will run towards whatever target you're attacking and it will apply poison damage to them so should it should a target be poisonable you can stack this with weapon poison and with your cinder bane gloves and if the target is stunnable dread nips can also stun that target for you so this is really kind of useful during bosses like telos maybe as a learner i know it hasn't really become meta anymore for higher and rages but for lower and rages when you're learning dread nips can be pretty useful especially for phase five as it can sort of like delay the mechanics in that fight for you a little bit but you can use the dread nips for almost any situation as long as they can attack the target they do add a bit of dps for you so these are pretty useful to have and honestly if you have the inventory space you don't need to use the food and whatnot you may as well deploy a dread nip especially if the target's poisonable it will help out a little bit finally i'm just going to mention the ability codexes just ability codexes as a whole every combat style has new ability codexes that you can buy that will upgrade your abilities or give you new abilities you want to get these because they're going to help you out a lot they're going to increase the damage that you deal with these abilities they're going to increase the usefulness of these abilities the best one to give you an example of is probably going to be greater chain greater chain changes an ability that literally just does damage to three targets into one that if you use chroming four with it you can link up to seven targets i believe together meaning that if you use one ability on the first target that you used all seven of those targets will take damage from that ability as well not full damage 50 percent on all the extra targets but it's still incredibly freaking useful there's a lot of ability codexes that do things like this and there's other codexes that just give you brand new abilities if you just look up on the wiki ability codexes you'll be able to find the list of those and honestly it is worth investing in these they are really good and a hell of a lot of them in fact most of them are going to give you benefits in some way so don't forget about these make sure you get them when you need them just sort of like weigh up whether you need them now or later ask your clan all that sort of stuff get the info on it but don't forget these are definitely worth working towards as well once again there is plenty of other stuff that you may want to work towards unlocking and whatnot but i can't list them on this video or else we'll be here for about four hours and it's just it's just not gonna work like that but other than that guys i really really do hope this video has helped you out this was requested in my discord as a video to be made and i wanted to cover everything quite quite like quickly but also not missing out in vital information so let me know how you guys think i did was it useful did you get a better understanding of where you should be working towards did you guys find anything out in the video that maybe you were like ah oh, i didn't even think about getting that i'm gonna go get that now let me know other than that thank you all so so much for watching i really do appreciate it if you did enjoy leave a like subscribe to the channel if you are new around here thank you so much to the channel members your names have been on screen right now and i very much do appreciate it, it is it is absolutely crazy the support you guys provide other than that thank you all so so much for watching i really appreciate that too and i'll see you all in the next one see you later guys bye